Hey YouTubers, in today's tool talk we're going to be talking about hammerless tools and I've got a couple of pieces to show you so let's just get into it. These are the hammerless tools that I was talking about and the one on the left is a hammerless nail setting tool and the one on the right is a hammerless door pin remover. So traditionally uh, we would have a nail set and we would strike it with a hammer so we'd have to carry a hammer around with us and that's why you have a a loop in your painter's pants to carry a hammer and nail set around and then to remove a door pin you usually get something like a screwdriver or a heavy nail or something and try to hammer the door pin through but with these two tools we eliminate the need for a hammer. We can just carry them easily around in our pocket and they're ready to use when we need them. So I'll just show you uh, the main feature of them and I'll demonstrate how they work. From this angle you can see that they're basically a spring loaded tool. You can see the spring in the middle and with the uh, nail set you have the broader tip at the end of the set for a bigger nail at the other end you have a finer tip on the nail set for finished nails and then with the door pin removing tool you use this end you use this tip to remove the pin and then that can go up through inside the hinge and then when you're reinstalling the pin you use this end and that'll help strike the pin back down into the hinge and in both cases they're pretty easy to operate you just hold the end that you need to control and you pull back on the other end it puts tension on the spring and then you release And there you have it. So you can see here that the air nailer didn't quite get the heads of the nails down. And if we just uh, scrape the tool along the surface, it'll catch on the nail. So I'm just going to demonstrate how the spring loaded or hammerless nail set works on this. Basically, you take your nail set, in this case we're going to use the fine end of the set and you place it onto the nail head like so we'll call that the control side because we're going to control that and then you pull up on the other side and release Now the nail is set under the surface of this material and we can fill it with our dry deck, our spackle. Even that one's sitting above a little bit. So the beauty of this is that we can reach in here. We don't have to try to hold a nail set in here and try to hammer it and risk damaging this material. So there you have it hammerless tools. Hope you enjoyed that uh, quick demonstration on uh, hammerless tools and some of the features about them and why we want to use them and uh, if you see them in the store you might find them interesting if you don't use them all the time you might find they're a little too expensive for your taste but uh, if you're a handyman or a professional and you encounter these things in your projects on a regular basis and it might be worth the investment. Until next time you can uh, leave any questions or comments on the channel. By all means like the videos and subscribe. Till next time, it's been Craig the Muskoka Painter.